Hello, Black Rimians, and welcome to some news. Today, I am going to be talking about a feature that they missed out in the recent Steam update. Now, this is a good feature in my opinion, because um, recently, uh, I got a new hard drive, mainly because my other one went kapunk, I don't know whether it was from Tom Clancy's Hawks X2, grumble, or whether it was just, you know, it just went, I don't know. Um, but I got a new one back, and then I had to install my Steam games again. Now, personally, myself, I don't have a lot of Steam games, I have about... 10, 15 of them, which I guess is a reasonable amount, but given some of them on there are free, some of them on there are very cheap, you know, you, you having to go through and install them all, it isn't necessarily very pleasant, save for this for somebody who, I don't know, has been collecting on Steam for a while and has like, I don't know, seriously had a thousand games, I know you probably wouldn't install them all and want to just install them a certain one, but seriously you had like 25 or 30 you wanted to install. Normally, before, what you would have to do is go over to the library section, click on games, and then find each one you wanted and press install separately and set them all up separately to download. Now, Steam has come up with a better solution. It's not 100% better, it's just an easier way of just setting up which games you want to download. Uh, well, actually, I'm not sure whether this counts for DLC either, or whether, oh no, because DLC installs with the game, right? Ignore that part about the DLC. Um, but basically what you do is that you now go into the libraries tab, games, sounds very similar, however this time you hold down control, uh, control, control, and you select individually the games you want while holding down control. This will then highlight each of the ones you want to install. Over one of the ones that are highlighted, right click and then press install. Up will come this box, it shall say install multiple games. It'll have um, a certain games ticked, so you know you might have Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead, you then might have Driver San Francisco, you then might have Payday 2 on there, and whatever other games you want on there, like Grand Theft Auto PC Edition, uh, that was meant to be Grand Theft Auto 5 PC Edition, because it's not out yet, and um, I thought I was just important on that. Uh, but anyway, once that list is complete and you're ready, you press Next. Now it'll give you two options. It'll say something uh, along the lines of, do you want, you know, it, it's basically your regular kind of thing, just doing it multiple at once, so you don't have to keep doing it. But it'll ask you, do you want to create a, um, kind of like an icon for this? Do you want to create a start menu logo thing for this? It just asks you then. You then untick it, you press install, it'll then get all the install files on there, all at once, and then literally you can just leave it to download. They'll all download. Uh, sadly, they don't all download simultaneously. As much as that would be nice, like do 20% each, like, I don't know, Euro Truck Simulator 2 does 20%, then the next one does 20%, then the next one does 20%, then Euro Truck Simulator 2 does 40%, next one 40%. It doesn't do it like that, sadly. It does still queue, but the easier part is, is the fact it actually is all just queued up now. So. You don't have to sit there constantly going, oh, install that one, wait for everything, you know, to untick a couple of boxes, wait for that one, press next, wait for a couple of boxes, wait for it to install, next one. You don't have to keep doing that. So if you have a lot of games, this will be probably useful to you. If you're someone like me who doesn't have a lot of games, it's not really 100% useful. But hey, I might use it, you never know. Um, but... Yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of a nice feature. I kind of wish as well they would add the kind of like a feature where you could actually play a Steam game while you're in just while you're installing or downloading one. Kind of, I'm not sure why they can't that. I guess it's kind of like downloads first, and then when you just click it, it installs. But still, uh, it would be nice if they could kind of do that. You know, so you could kind of. I don't know, say for instance I want to install Yotruck Simulator 2, I don't want to sit there for, I don't know, well for me it takes 5 minutes, so personally I would just do something for 5 minutes, but say for instance if it took like an hour and you wanted to play like a game or something, and the only games you had were on Steam, say for instance you want to play the Steam game, it would stop the download. Which I, I can understand why, because you know, you're reading and you're writing on the disc at once, uh, some, like files might get copied differently 
or you know errors or missed out files which could cause problems down the line but I guess yeah, I don't know it, it, it would just be nice but anyway that's my ideas um, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not too sure why this hasn't been implemented before, though, because it's kind of something I kind of would have expected you to be able to do. Um, but apparently, according to Twitter, and um, Valve commented, "Well, this is actually what they commented." Turns out, we missed a feature in recent Steam updates. You can now select multiple games and install them in one go. Even though technically, I think in install in one go, he means. Yo, know, they're all in just a list together, not they're all downloading all at the same time. Because I can kind of understand that, because if it was doing that, I'm pretty sure your internet would have a wobbly, and it would fall over, and your internet bill would probably come out quite big, um, because you were using so much freaking internet, and especially if you live in a house with someone else, or an apartment block, I don't know, with someone else, which I'm not sure whether it works with apartment blocks as well, but, you know, you might possibly end up you know, kicking somebody off the internet because you're literally using that much internet up to install, I don't know, 50 <laughs> games at once. I don't know. It's just, it's just my opinion and stuff. So, and this part is the facts, though. Don't worry about that. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about this new feature down below um, because, you know, I, I think it's all right. I think it might help a bit. But, in my opinion, it won't affect me too much because I don't have too many games. I think I have some, like, 17, 15, something like that. I don't know. And a couple of them are, like, little free games I've just downloaded. And a few but like, little cheap bundles I got and stuff like that. And, actually, one of them is Armour and Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead. So, you know, they're kind of together. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think in the description below. Description below, comment section below. God's sake, I'm getting that mixed up. I did that in my first few videos, and now I'm doing it again. Brilliant. Uh, but anyway, comment, like, subscribe, whatever. And thank you for watching, and cheerio. Oh, enjoy the gameplay as well. Whoop.